So it's three o'clock in the morning, you're exhausted, you have no idea how you even got to this call, and all of a sudden you have a patient, you put them on the monitor, and you find out that their heart rate is ranging between 140 and 160. Now your officer in charge has told you, hey, I want you to go ahead and draw up Cardizem. Now Cardizem, the dose is 0.25 milligrams per kilogram, and you're sitting there scratching your head saying, I have no idea how I'm gonna calculate this and I have no idea how much I'm gonna draw up. Now this not only happens to people in the field, but it's also can possibly happen to you on your exam. My name is Mike from Rescue Academy. I'm here at EEI, Emergency Educational Institute in Coral Springs, Florida, and I'm gonna show you how to be an expert at med calculations. So the first formula for example, on this patient, is gonna be my dose over my dose on hand, dose on hand. Now I'm gonna explain this. Multiplied by our MLs. So the dose for Cardizem is 0.25 milligrams per kilogram. Now we just said our patient weighed 90 kilograms. Now I have to multiply that by 0.25 milligrams. So those of you who are going to be taking your NREMTP or the National Registry for Paramedic understand that you will be able to use your calculator during the exam, okay? So practice with your calculator. So I'm gonna pull out my calculator here. All right, 90 times 0.25, that gives me 22.5 milligrams, which is going to be my dose. All right, that is going to be my dose. Now I have Cardizem here. I don't know if this is gonna focus on it, but Cardizem comes packaged 25 milligrams and five mLs. Really important that we know how this drug comes packaged because now I know how much drug I have on hand, okay? So let me write it here. We got 25 milligrams and five mLs. So what I'm gonna do is now I know my dose. So I can start filling out my formula here. I use a space right here. So my dose, we just said, was 22.5 milligrams. That's my dose. We know it's gonna be over my drug, or my dose on hand, or drug on hand, which is 25 milligrams. All right, drug on hand or dose on hand, same thing, this is the amount of medication that I have in my vial. So I have 25 milligrams in my vial at this time. Now, I'm just gonna multiply this by my mLs. Now I just said I have five mLs inside of this vial. So I'm gonna multiply this by five. So, again, you take out your calculator, you had our 22.5 divided by 25. That gave me 0 0.9. I'm gonna multiply that by five, and that gives me 4.5 mLs. That is how much of this medication that I'm going to draw up. Now, if I'm going to select a syringe, obviously I wanna select a five mL syringe. If you don't have fives, then you could grab a 10. Okay, obviously don't grab a three ml or a one ml, um, grab a five or a 10, all right? So this is the first formula. So for my next two formulas, understand that they're gonna be utilizing drips. Now I have to know if I'm using a macro drip or a micro drip. Understand that a micro drip, okay, if I say the word micro, I'm talking about, or a mini drip set, I'm talking about 60 GTTS, which stands for drops, per ml. 
Now, how am I gonna know if it's a micro drip set by just looking at it? You're gonna look inside of the actual drip chamber. And what you're looking for here is a little tiny needle inside of this drip chamber, all right? That is going to be your micro drip set. Now, a couple things about these uh, IV tubing, if you're not familiar with it. If I have too much fluid inside my drip chamber and I wanna get rid of some of it, you're gonna flip this upside down and you just wanna go ahead and squeeze that drip chamber to try to get the fluid backed out, all right? You want it to be about halfway just so you can see how much fluid is actually going inside that drip chamber. So this is a micro drip. A macro drip will not have that little needle inside of the drip chamber and it, there's different types of macro drip sets. All right, common macro drip is 10 drops per ml, okay? You might also see 15, you might even see 20, okay? So depending on where you work, you might see different types of macro drips. So that is the basics on the drip sets. Now let's get into the formulas. The first formula I wanna talk about is volume, all right, volume. This doesn't mean that it's only good for IV bag fluids. This could also be used for actual medications and I'm gonna explain myself. So our formula for volume is going to start with my volume ordered. So if I told you to give, let's say, a thousand mLs or one whole liter, but let me write it out first. So my first is volume, right? Times drops or our drip set, right? So GTTS, like I said, GTTS is just going to be my abbreviation for my drip set that I'm going to be util utilizing over time. Now my time has to be in minutes, okay? For example, if I say over an hour, it's gonna be 60. It's gonna be over 60, right? It's always gonna be in minutes. So I'll give you a quick example. I'll give you a couple examples. This first one is gonna be fluid, okay? I want you to give a thousand bag or a one liter, so it's gonna be a thousand mLs. with a 10 drop set, okay? So let's use that green again, times 10 over our time. Now I want you to give it over 60 minutes, over 60 minutes, 60 minutes. So I'm gonna have 10,000 divided by 60. And to save time, I'm gonna sit here and use my calculator. Divided by 60, that gives me 166.66 drops per minute. 166. 0.6 drops per minute. So if I wanted to round that up, it would be 167 drops per minute. All right, depending on how that test actually wants you to round up or round down. Now, if I wanted to determine how many drops per second I'm gonna give, all right, all I would have to do is divide this number by, all I would have to do is divide this number by 60, okay? When I divide that number by 60, I get, 2.77, all right? That's how many drops per second. So it's about three drops a second. If I was in the back of a truck and I was trying to determine how many drops, how fast am I actually dripping this, it's gonna be about uh, three drops a second, okay? So this is how we measure volume. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this exact same method can be used for a medication. So a popular drip uh, infusion, technically, that we do is amiodarone, okay? An amiodarone infusion. Now, amiodarone is gonna be, let me just write it over here. My amiodarone is gonna be 150 
all right, in a 50 bag, so 50 mLs, over, over 10 minutes. And that's with a 10 drop set, okay? So I'm gonna put that in parentheses here. That's my amiodarone infusion. If you have VTEC with a pulse, um, or if you're using it for another you know, tachycardia rhythm, and you want and you choose to give amiodarone infusion, this is how it's gonna be given. Now, we know this is a medication, but technically I'm giving the entire bag over 10 minutes. So technically I'm giving 50 mLs over 10 minutes. All right, so let's take a look at this. If I'm, t if I'm taking 50 mLs, and I already said I'm using a 10 drop set, right? 10 drops over, uh, what was our time? 10 minutes. Gives me 500 divided by my 10 for time, which gives me 50 drops, all right, per minute. And that is how I can also give a medication using my volume formula. Now my last formula that's a little intimidating is actually for medications when I'm giving a medication over time, but I'm only wanting a certain amount of the medication. For example, I wanna give two milligrams per minute or our dopamine. I wanna give five micrograms per kilogram per minute. Now I know a lot of you know the street method for dopamine or using the clock method. Let me show you a formula. It's just another way of determining a dose all right, using med calculations. So I'm just gonna call this one med drip. First, let me go ahead and write out this formula before we actually get a calculation down. It's gonna be my dose if it's a weight-based medication. Some aren't, so I'm gonna put that in parentheses. divided by concentration, which I'll talk about, multiplied by, of course, if you've guessed it, time. Now we're trying to determine drops per minute, okay? Most of the time when we're talking about a med drip, we're gonna be doing over one minute. Every minute we're trying to get this amount of medication delivered to our patient. We're gonna go ahead and do dopamine. So what I want is first to determine my dose. Now I just told you it's five micrograms per kilogram per minute, but we're gonna use, we'll use 80 kilograms. So to determine my dose, I first need to multiply five times my kilograms. So let's say my patient weighs 80 kilograms. Five times 80. So five times 80 is 400. So I'm gonna say 400 micrograms is my dose, right? Now we gotta multiply it by our drip set. Now with this particular drip, as a dopamine drip, we're gonna be using a micro drip set, okay? In your tests, it's most likely gonna tell you what kind of drip set you're gonna be utilizing. So this is a micro drip 60 drop set. So at 60, we're gonna go ahead and divide this. Now I need to determine my concentration. So. Here's a dopamine bag. Dopamine comes packaged 400 milligrams per 250 mLs. If I already started my formula using micrograms, I need to convert these milligrams to micrograms. Now understand one milligram is 1,000 micrograms. So 400 milligrams, I would have to convert that to 400,000 micrograms in my 250 mLs. Now, to determine my concentration, all I have to do is take this 400,000 and divide it by 250. And it gives me 1,600. And that is going to be my concentration. So, let's add that here. And technically that's micrograms per mL, right? Up here, this is drops per ml. And we're gonna multiply that by our time. Now, like I said, our time is just gonna be over one minute. 
So one minute. Now let's go ahead and calculate what we got going on here. First I have 400 times 60. All right, 400 times 60 comes out to 24,000 divided by 1600. That gives me 15 drops per minute. And that is the exact calculation for our dopamine utilizing this formula. Well guys, I hope this helped. Remember, med calculations aren't as scary as they look. It's all about memorization. If you memorize these three formulas, you'll have no problems with your med calculations in school. Remember, if you're doing your national paramedic exam, you will be able to utilize your calculator. So do so, okay? Practice with that calculator. Learn these four, three formulas and you're gonna have no problems. I guarantee it, not only on your test, but in the field. All right, guys, if this helped, please like, subscribe. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and if you want me to go over anything in particular, just let me know, all right? Good luck.